All right, hello, Dead Spikes here. Today I'm coming at you with the second encounter of Spire of Stars, if you want to call this an encounter. It's kind of like a jumping puzzle. Um, the thing that we want to do is basically move out the platforms to make it so we can make it to the end. It requires three people to do that. One thing I would like to mention, if you are having trouble coming to the second encounter, because it is quite common, um, where you got the chest to finish the first encounter, you can turn around towards the lake, and the statue is where you go in at. All right, now that after you go through that whole area and you get down to here, in this room right here, there will be switches. And you'll notice there are lights on top here. It requires three people to be able to enable the switch. So I'll have two people come in real quick and you'll see the lights change. There's two and three. And now that there's three in here, I can pull the lever and it will start moving the platform so we can proceed. Now, you do not have to do the ball of this encounter, but it is an optional thing to give you a extra chest at the end. To start it, you're gonna see this blue flashing light over here that I'm looking at, and you just have to hit that with something, and the ball will spawn. The ball, the, um, the goal here is to get the ball through every checkpoint and then get it to the end to throw it at the end to target, and it will spawn the chest. Now I will show you some setting up to take it through the areas. Go ahead and throw it. You know, it's going to throw it to me. I'm going to throw it to Slayer on the second fan blade over there. There we go. Slayer is going to jump it over and throw it to Wolf to get it to the end. And then Wolf's going to throw it in the end target in there. We'll go check it out here in a second. Go ahead and throw it in, Wolf. Yep. You can hear it. He got the checkpoint. So we'll go in there and see what it looks like in there. Now you can see the ball spawned there, and Crow already has it. Um, you can pull a handicap lever here to help your teammates. It'll put this out. Right here, so they don't have to jump so far. Um, there's also another checkpoint switch here you can see with the three green lights. So you're going to need three people here to be able to pull up the next area right there. And for this area, you're not going to have to set up anybody. You can throw it all the way across, and I will teach you. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to throw it from checkpoint one all the way to checkpoint two. So you can line up your crosshair just like this. Get him out of my way quick. Right, just like that. And then just get her with a nice yeet. Should be able to catch it right there. Boom. And then they can put it in the checkpoint. Now we can run through this area. Um, this area is quite easy. The next section, that's really the only challenge. Go down here. And you'll notice one fan blade's going up down. You have to go in between them like this. Hopefully mantle. There we go. On this fan blade. Up on this spot right here. And there's the checkpoint there. Once we have three people up in there, we'll be able to pull the next section. I'm going to jump up there. Alright. Three people in here. We can pull the lever. And the next section's going up. I'll show you an extra secret chest you can get here, too. If you go on top of checkpoint two, we'll wait for this fan blade to come across. Mm -hmm. All right, jump up there. Jump across. Across. And then right up there, there's a chest. Wait for this fan blade to come. There we go. You can see it. That's just an extra free chest. You don't need the ball to get this one. You can just come get this, whether you did the ball or not. Gave me an engram there. It's all mostly year one loot, so it doesn't give you a lot. Well, I'll show you how to set up this next section, which is the toughest. All right, here we go. I got my whole team set up. Checkpoint two's ball. See, they're all set up in perfect spots there. I'm going to throw this first one to Slayer. And Slayer's going to throw it up to Ugg. And Og's going to throw it up to Wolfie. Wolfie's going to throw it up to Crow. He has an open shot. Now Crow's going to jump over onto the next spot right there. Then he's going to throw it up to Bino. And Bino's going to throw it in. And boom, we're home free. Now I'll just show you how to jump through this area. Once you get to this bridge, you're just going to jump up. Like that. Doors are nice here for mobility as well. You can also just skip the whole thing if you ran lion ramparts on a sword. <laughs> um, up here. 
Jump up just like this. Now you have two options at this next spot. You can go over there or up there. I prefer right here. Jump up on this fan blade. This is where Crow was. Jump up to the end. You can see the handicaps there. But for hunters, I recommend jumping up here for everybody. Jump up to this. And we're here. Here's the last checkpoint. This one's pretty easy. We'll just run her straight. You don't throw it to me. All right. Here we go. Gonna run her through. I'm just gonna say someone's name and throw it to them. We're moving. Wolfie, turn around. Here you go. And he's gonna keep running it. Once he gets higher on greed, he'll switch it. Once you hit 10 greed, you'll die. Catch that. Here you go, Curl. To the right is the actual way to go, but to the left is the target that you need for the extra chest. Here you go. Go ahead and throw it, Curl. There you go. There's the final point. All of the targets look like that. And over here is your chest. There you go. You got your free chest. And then to go to the actual next encounter, you're just going to want to go around and go straight through here. See, there's where we came out of. So you would just turn right if you weren't doing the ball. Once everybody reaches this next door, it'll open. There. All six of us are here. All right. Now this elevator has um, bombs you need to blow up, just like you did to start the ball. See right there, there's one. Just got to destroy all four, and the elevator will open up and give you the big suck. And you're at the next encounter. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. If you have not yet, please consider subscribing to the channel for some helpful raid content like this. I will see you in the next one. Spikes out.